Shovelhead 8 and welcome to another Yard Sale Saturday. So, uh, we found a few things. Some of which we're going to get yelled at for, but what can we do? So, I was told not to bring any knickknacks home, but I brought home. Oh, looks like it's a music box too. Yep. An angel music box. And this one here lights up. It's only plastic. I hope there's a way to shut this off. Oh well, I guess not. <laughs> Anyways, and I got this one, which is a heartwood creep. Okay. I broke my other pair of glasses, so. Jim Shore for Inesco. So we'll uh, we'll see how much yellow we get for this one. So I got those for four dollars each, which wasn't bad. And then I got a dog and chipmunk coffee mug for quarter so I give me a little extra and a little pig uh, cookie jar for small cookies but uh, it'll do for dog treats and a little a little cream pitcher so, doesn't appear to be offshore so anyways I'm going to zoom you close to those and we're going to move them up a little way That's good for them, and we're going to shut it off now and restart. Chick bump, chick bump, chick bump, chick monk patrol in action. So they just saved us again from being terrorized by chipmunks. Well, I guess that that didn't work. So we'll be going doing this, uh, shortening the video up quite a bit, which is a good thing. Anyways, one place, power bar, stack of sandpaper, like big time stack, and 3M Norton wet dry. Sandpaper. Box full of fasteners and things. And Anyways. All sorts of goodies. So, that's enough for that one. And we're going to check our camera and come back. Okay, we're coming back. So now we're going to go to the rest of the stuff. And we have a handmade drum. Actually, the guy that, I bought it from the guy that made it, and he was pretty happy. But I took it. Anyways, it's got a good tone. And the Sort of camping equipment. We've got a a good uh, entrenching tool. 
I'd say it's military just from the, the way it's made, but it looks good. A little pouch of some sort. I didn't pay very much for this stuff either. Oh, uh, what else did I get there? An impact driver, which I needed because I can't find mine. This one's brand new with all the bits, which is usually where I was out. A, I think these are pruning saws, but I won't swear to it. Anyways, double sided, and it's sharp. And now we're going to go to some little bit of camping stuff. A cup. These are little baking tray tins. They're in pretty good shape. I'm going to get them in. The enamel bowl, bowl with a couple little chips, which really doesn't matter. Now, for the coffee club, for the coffee club, the Bluegrass Bushcraft Coffee Challenge people. We will start with coffee stuff. So, a Bubba mug for a quarter. Brand new, never be used. A small Bodum uh, French press, and I'd have to say it was almost never used. An enamel coffee percolator, complete, and I'd have to say unused or pretty close to it. And then for the final coffee club uh, item of the day. A coffee grinder. And it's seen better days, but it's not bad. It's even got uh, part of the original label on it. Missing the drawer, but I know a guy who will fake the drawer for me. I can't see that, but I hope you can. Anyways, I paid $5 for that. I think that city people pay more than that just to have it on their kitchen counter. And, as a bonus time, a Coleman lantern. I don't think it's that late. I think it's uh, 2008. But it is an American one, so that makes it more valuable than Canadian one. And it is a I saw a model number here. A 290A. And it's got like original dirt on it. I've never seen a pump like that either. But free stuff. Anyways, that's pretty well it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what I had to show. Uh, if you see anything you would like to look closer at, uh, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll I'll do some still pictures and put them in the next uh, uh, nerd video. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.